Welcome back to John's Films. Today I'm looking at hard drive configurations on your average editing workstation. Does it matter which disks you use and how you configure them? Let's find out. That's how that video was supposed to go. We were going to run some benchmarks. I would show you that one disk is even 10 to 15 times faster on reads than another one. Then I copy files onto each drive. I run benchmarks. You see it's slower, it's faster, life's good, right? Unfortunately, when I ran the test, there wasn't that much difference. And the reason, we're focusing our time on the processor, not necessarily on the disk reads. When you talk about YouTube creators, when you talk about large cinematography companies, it's likely a bit different, and so I even pulled some 8K footage from Red's website and pulled it down. Even then, though, on the shorter files that I pulled, while it may take a couple extra seconds to copy a file here or there, when you're using it, when you're using that file in DaVinci Resolve, there's not much of a difference. So for that, I have to ask the big question, did I waste a bunch of money on the three NVMe drives in my computer? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if it's for DaVinci Resolve only, you bet I did. If I just super like fast storage, don't like waiting for things to copy around sometimes, okay, maybe, but it's definitely more than I need. So what would I do if I were doing this over again? The first thing I'd do is buy just an NVMe drive one for DaVinci Resolve and the application. Then I'd get an SSD, a little bit larger, that I could use for project footage and for rendering. And then I'd get a bulk storage drive, much like I have now, that's splitting, spinning platter disks that I can use to store footage that's already been used in case I want to use it again in a future video. So I hope that helps you. Please subscribe if you liked it and if there's more data that I can show you. I ran all these benchmarks. They look really good, but they don't tell you anything. So I thought I'd just translate it down for you in a short format, flat out. You don't need all of this storage to be extra super special. In fact, you could probably even just get away with an SSD and a spinning drive. But I live and I learn. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.